much. So my name is uh, Sophie Boulanger. I'm chief of product at Bon Look, a company I co-founded three years ago here in Montreal. So I'm very glad I've been invited tonight because um, actually retail, um, for as long as I can remember, I've lived and breathed in retail. It's, I'm, it's a subject I'm really passionate about. Um, it's, uh, it's tough. It's a constant race. You need to evolve. Um, all the time and innovation is just something you need to do on a constant basis to survive. So just a quick overview of who we are. So we're the ultimate fashion destination for your eyewear wardrobe. So basically we design, manufacture and sell uh, our own collection of prescription eyeglasses and sunglasses uh, exclusively on our website. Right now we're targeting uh, young women. So why would you wear the same pair of frames every single day when you can actually frame your every style? Our frames, because they're affordable, fashionable and fun, actually become an accessory just like uh, a handbag, a pair of shoes or um, jewelry. Today I don't want to do a visit of our website as I'm sure you can all do it by yourselves. No, today I want to talk to you about the challenge of selling a high-touch product online. So how do you bridge the gap in order to be able to sell online a product that people have been so used to buy at brick and mortar stores? Um, the decision process to buy eyeglasses online requires much more involvement from the customer than buying, for example, a song, a book, a t-shirt, or even a home decor accessory. Eyeglasses are one of the first things that people see when they look at you, and people are really self-conscious about how they will look with their frames. Trying on is a major friction point in our business model. So how can we convince the customer to finalize its purchase? We consider that there are four tracks that we need to tackle to need, uh, that need to be addressed in some way. So the idea here for us is to, is to try as many different things as possible with low cost and low time involvement for the company and just reiterate if it works and discard if it doesn't. So some of the um, tools I'm going to show you tonight we've tried, we failed, some we're doing right now, and some we want to try in the next year. So first of all, to gain the client's uh, confidence, you have to offer world-class customer service. So that means hassle-free return and exchange policy and customer service agents that are knowledgeable and comforting. That's essential. So in terms of web-based tools, we've innovated with four main features, and I'm going to go over these four uh, right now with you. So the first one is our Perfect Fit questionnaire. So the Perfect Fit is a tool we've um, developed to narrow down the selection for the client. By answering a few questions about her face and her style, the client gets four suggestions. The illusion of choice is quite dangerous in retail. You sometimes think that by offering more, the client will buy more. But uh, it, it, it actually just confuses the client and uh, they just want to be comforted with a limited selection. So this tool really recreates the behavioral pattern of interacting with a salesperson that selects a few frames for you in a store after discussing um, with you. The virtual mirror is a tool um, to try on the frames with either a picture you upload or your webcam. Uh, it's, a, it's a tool that people love, uh, people play a lot with it, and um, people spend a lot of time on the site with it, so it's pretty good. We also have the, what we call the 180 degrees of style headshots. These are on all uh, product pages, and it really helps the client see the frames on many different types of faces, skin color, and just get a decent idea of the fit and the look. Uh, finally, we have Instagram snapshots on all of our product shots. Again, it's one more tool for the client to see the frames live and just get styling ideas. Now the try on at home. So by that we mean ways to get the frames directly to the client. So we've tried direct selling uh, about a year and a half ago, so think um, Avon ladies or like a Tupperware party with eyeglasses, so that failed. Uh, and uh, we will now, now start testing, sending a tray with five samples for five days, just in a designated area to start with, to see the metrics of conversion, because it's quite a costly. Uh, last but not least, physical distribution. So. Um, 
meaning that the client has to go somewhere to actually uh, see your merchandise. So we're cons uh, currently considering many different um, next slide options. Um, so um, it can take many uh, directions. So we're thinking about maybe dedicated showrooms, maybe displays in stores, maybe pop-up shops, shop and shops, uh, kiosks. So the idea here is to set up a very small physical trial spot in order to enable the client to interact with the product. So the, st the sale was, would still be conducted 100% online, uh, directly there or later at home. So that's it for today. Um, I hope I gave you food for thoughts about uh, moving forward with a more innovative um, e-commerce model that takes into account um, you know, other things that the customer want to see uh, and a, a different relationship with the product than just simply uh, browsing uh, a product page. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.